Peace, peace. What's going on with you, good people? You should already know you back with your homeboy, Wrench Turner. Hey, check, right? I'm just making this video right here to follow up to a video that I made recently. You know, speaking about Dodge and whatnot. Um, I don't know if you guys have read or found out anything based off of my previous video. But... <laughs> I like when I put in the time to do the research and the research proves to be all the way real. And me saying that is just to let you guys know, every single thing that I talked about in that last video is coming to fruition because it's like I seen I, well, I not only seen, I read stuff from FCA America, and I read stuff from different automotive outlets. So, you know, who knows what information could be true, who knows what information could be factual, or if, you know, they're just thought, or, or throwing thoughts out, you know, just to see what would impact the community or impact the, the Dodge culture so a lot of times when I make these videos like I try to get like the best information possible you know you gotta think about it like this what if you know you was checking out a YouTuber that didn't know what all they was talking about you know what I'm saying like and they was just going off of like third party knowledge You'd be looking at my videos like, man, what the hell is this dude talking about, man? You don't even know what the hell he's talking about. You know what I mean? So, I try to provide the best, the best knowledge possible. Because when I'm going to the, the, the places that I go to get knowledge, I look at how long they've been doing it. I look at, do they do, like, not not per se car reviews but you know do they have like the specked out reviews of cars and bike not not cars and bikes but just cars you know what i mean when i'm looking at bikes i'm looking at the same thing so i'm looking to see how in depth they do things so then that determines if i can utilize their knowledge to talk about it on a video you feel what i'm saying so yeah, I wanted to come on and, and talk to you guys about that because um, I have another video to make that you can kind of see in the background. I'm here at the shop. I just haven't went in the shop yet and started doing things I was going to do. But, yeah, yeah, I really wanted to, you know, get on and, and let you guys know, man. Um, your boy has some facts, man. You know what I mean? Especially when I seen the uh, the official the official press release and whatnot. And this was like probably two weeks after I made my video. I just seen the press release like two, three days ago. And then it was touching on everything I said. I'm like, oh, your boy got it right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because... There were some times that I didn't get it right, you know what I mean? And I could go back and make videos. I can I can make videos about things that I've already made videos about. So I would have to go back and be like, yo, if you remember this video, I, I need to tell you about what I got wrong. And I could do that, you know what I mean? I, I pretty much could do that, you know what I mean? And I just might, you know what I mean? Because there was not... There was not that often that I got it wrong, but speculating. Speculation is just that, you know what I mean? Like, that's you speculate. And there were times that I was speculating, hoping that things would go that way. And I, the only 
reason why I say I was hoping things went that way, oh, pardon me, it's because I'm a mechanic. So when you see things going a certain way, you know, you don't, well, I don't know, me looking at things the way I look at things, when I see things going a certain way, I don't really expect for these big manufacturers to deviate away from what they kind of already hinted at doing. So I kind of try to foresee the forecast a little bit to see which way they're going to maneuver. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I get it right and sometimes I don't. But this is one of the times I got it right. So I, like I said, I just wanted to come on, make a short video for you guys and let you guys know, hey, I think I'm on to something. You know what I mean? With with the um I, I got like two new sources for automotive and motorcycle content. You know what I mean? Just to let you guys know what's coming up new, what's going to be happening, what's up with your favorite something, bike or car, you know. Peace, peace, what's going on with your good people? Sure already know you back with your own boy right now. Sure. Uh, Chinese and Latin festival and all that, you know what I mean? Be showing y'all some footage from this right here, you know what I mean? I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get some footage out here. And you know, to show you guys what it do. I could possibly even get some drone footage. They're down there performing right now, you can't really see it, but uh, let's go. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we got a common enemy, you know what I'm saying? So I don't feel we got time to be beefing. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. That, that's divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? That's what he lets. You know what I mean? It, we got a common enemy in these capitalists that's that's taking control of our assets and and, 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 and colonizing what we doing. As far as rap music, as far as all kinds. Smoke huh? all shades, make moves, you can find me in the skybox Crib come with the gate like a mini Sky. Fort Knox We come sail with the level what? 5 packaging what? Running out of track, so I guess on, I'm man. done This Let's is get rap. the fuck out of here, man I almost lost my lines on the island, nigga Yep, I came, saw, conquered Now, I'm about hungry so, gotta say goodbye to next year, Chinese Atlanta Festival, 2020. Hey. So, that is it. That is my video, you guys. I want to remind you guys to stop by and stay fly. Visit VaustinBridges.com for all your good fly needs. You know what I mean? Also, I want to remind you guys, have a happy new year. You know what I mean? If you're making resolutions and all that, Stick to them, you know what I mean? Don't do it for nobody else. Don't do it because your homeboy, your homegirl say, hey, let's do this. No. Do it because you want to do it yourself, you know what I mean? Like, to make yourself feel better, to feel better, however it may go about. Do it for you. Don't do it for nobody else. Because in the end, you will thank yourself so much more for doing it for yourself. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. This is your man Wrench Turner on the check-in. I will talk to you on the flip side. Wrench Turner out. Wrench Turner out.